Okay, so what's going on guys? Make here with Drug Tech back again with yet another video for you guys. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Autobox entry line of cases, which is the Autobox React series I have right here in this uh, sky blue color. So this case comes in at a mere 119 ringgit. And of course, if you want to compare this to other hybrid cases, yes, this is a bit on the pricier side. But however, if you compare this with Autobox and Lifeproof's line of cases, this comes in at the cheapest. And make no mistake, this case also has military standard drop protections and you're not going to be missing out any of the drop protection from the Autobox line of cases. Of course, you're not going to be getting two to five times of drop protection that's reserved for the commuter, for the symmetry and for the Defender series. But however, now it's military standard. So I think it's a good step in the right direction and you're getting it with this new line of cases. So without further ado, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's begin the unboxing and look at the React series from Autobox. Alright guys, so I'm back and I'm not going to bore you with a lot of talk. We just get right into the box itself. So, on the top, as usual, you get your Autobox logo. You can see it's the React series. You can get a glimpse of the case. Of course, there's no plastic film covering so as what i mentioned before in terms of hygiene yeah they should actually cover it you know with covid 19 around and if you go to a store and many people touching it all right so on the bottom you can see drop plus tested to military standard which is basically 810g because it's the basic standard for drop testing uh, cases or devices in general on the bottom you can see ultra thin design wireless charging compatible i've actually used this on the daily for a couple of days of course i do not really fancy this blue color because i do like black cases i do like cases with black rims if it's something like a hybrid case like this but anyways i had to test it out for this video because i want to give you my honest opinion and i'll also be comparing it to the ultra hybrid from Spigen later because i actually used that for a week already all right so on the bottom you can see for iPhone 12 Pro Max and on the right side 5G compatible you can see give back and yeah CSR project all right so on the back you can see drop plus you can see drop tested to meet military standards hard case soft grip pocket friendly design raised edges to protect camera and screen and easy on and off however i got to mention that the version for the 12 Pro Max is slightly different from the 12 Pro and the 12 Mini it's because uh, the Pro has a bigger camera bump so you, you actually have a sort of a bigger lip in terms of the camera cutout right here but I do not have the 12 Pro or the 12 mini version to show you but just take my word for it alright so let's get into the unboxing pretty quick alright so let's see what do we have inside the box we have some paperwork let's take a look at the paperwork so it's uh, showing you 5G compatible and then there is also a warranty guide yeah limited warranty as usual all right taking that out let's take out the case all right guys so here's the case itself all right so let's take a look at the case as right, so you can see on the insides here pretty standard affair for a hybrid case of course there's a small cutout here i'm not sure whether you can see it let me get it closer to the camera so you can see there's a small cutout here because other box makes their cases to apple standard so they had to make this color here and this color is present on all their cases as well all right you can see the clear back here is polycarbonate and this is actually soft tpu so you can look at the bottom you can see the cutouts right here very big uh cutout for your lightning as well as your speaker and your microphone the back this is a pretty generous cutout in fact as you say Okay, on the right side, let's take a look. So you get Autobox branding as well as the power button. So this power button is very reminiscent of the Live Proof Next. So if you're a fan of that, then yeah, but I, I like bigger size power buttons. I do not like the slim ones because I think it's pretty hard to press in my opinion. Okay, on the left side, you can see volume up and down. So there's a cutout for your mute and ring toggle. On the top, there's nothing. Basically, it's a very simple case. Alright, so let me grab my 12 Pro Max and get it installed. So I like to go button side first. Get it installed. Very simple. Just like that. Simple as that. Alright guys, so now you can see the phone inside this case. So I have the Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, let's take a look at the cutouts. You can see very nice and precise cutout for the camera. Look at the bottom because this is where you would to have to charge your device. You can see microphone speaker and also the cutout 
for the lightning port. This will fit many third party cables as well because of the size of it. Okay, the buttons, let's try the buttons. Buttons work fine. Okay, let's try the volume buttons as well. Volume buttons are pretty tactile, I should say, but uh, not as tactile as the power button. Okay, so let's take a look at the earpiece cutout. You can see right here. See this small indentation in the case. In fact, I should say it's very similar to the Speech and Ultra Hybrid. Of course, the sides are a little bit thicker and you get much more screen protection if you do drop it face down like this. Other than that, it is very similar to the Speech and Ultra Hybrid. Let me grab it and give you a comparison. Okay, this is the Speech and Ultra Hybrid I have right here, which I reviewed. So I will leave it in the iCard above if you do want to check that video out. You can see right here, very similar to the Ultra Hybrid. Of course, the Ultra Hybrid is half the price of the Autobox React. For the general day-to-day -day user, I think the Speed Gen Ultra Hybrid is a pretty good deal, especially if it costs half the price of the Autobox React and also gives you military standard drop protection. But of course, if you're talking about face-first drops, I'm not going to be too sure with the Speed Gen Ultra Hybrid because the Speed Gen Ultra Hybrid uh, has a slimmer lip so if you put it face down, your glass protector is most likely going to touch the surface. If you use a thick glass protector like I'm using here, and this glass protector is from Autobox, the Autobox Amplify series. So the Amplify series is uh, five times more scratch resistant, which means it's also thicker as well. All right guys, so take a look at the lip. You can see there's a pretty substantial lip. And the back, of course, it collects a lot of smudges because this is a hybrid case and this is a clear back. Definitely going to live with that. Look at my Speedgen Ultra Hybrid. You can see it's covered with smudges. So this is no different. But of course, if you want a clear case, which is also scratch resistant and more fingerprint resistant, I suggest you to get either the Autobox Symmetric Clear or the Ring Cave Fusion with the matte back. But in my opinion, the Autobox React is uh, on its class of its own, I should say, because it is from a big brand, definitely. A trusted brand in terms of drop protection. So if you are a big fan of that, then definitely go with the Autobox React series. And uh, I think in terms of the feel in the hand, it doesn't have the sharp corners like the Speedgen Ultra Hybrid. The Speedgen Ultra Hybrid has uh, some sharp corners, especially on the top lip here. And also on the back, I feel like all these stubs right here is like, uh, it doesn't really give me the feel, premium feel, but this doesn't have all that. It's actually very smooth, very nice. Of course, if you do not have those stops, the back will scratch more easily, so it's a trade-off. However, on the screen side of things, this is actually very smooth and uh, very nice. But as an entry-level case, if I'm going to be on a budget, I will go with the Speedgen Ultra Hybrid or the Ring Fusion. But anyways, back to the Autobox React. Uh, I can recommend this case if you are paranoid about dropping your device and you want the Autobox level certified drop protection. Definitely go with the Autobox React series. So overall, what do I think of this case? Um, for the price, it is all right, I should say. Um, not really a big fan of a case like this that costs above 100 ringgit. Because I think cases like this should cost around 90, maximum 99 ringgit or 95 ringgit, not above 100 because I think there are many other options when it comes to hybrid cases just like this and Autobox pricing is like way too high in my opinion. I definitely can recommend Autobox in terms of drop protection because they are known for that. But in terms of this kind of casing, I suggest you to just top up another 30 to 70 ringgit and get either the Autobox Commuter or the Autobox Symmetry Series and that will give you way more drop protection. Alright, so this concludes my video. Hope you guys like it and if you did like it, do hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.